Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix Tremaine and today I'm going to be doing your 31 days of Halloween. This is day two and I'm going to be doing a review of the of Seance which is currently on Shutter. It was directed and written by Simon Barrett who is also the writer of Your Next and The Guest. Uh, starring Suki Waterhouse as Camille, uh, Inanna Sarkis as Alice and Ella Ray Smith as Helena. Basically, uh, girls at a boarding school try to contact the dead, and one of their friends is soon killed. Um, after, uh, followed by a new student, Camille, coming to the school and replacing uh, the, the character that died. But the killings continue, and the movie sort of questions, is this a supernatural killer, or is this a, a person killing? And so the mystery begins. Now, I chose to watch this movie because it was supposed to be a slasher film. Uh, but it pretty much fails as a slasher film. Uh, the kills are very tame. And I started to feel like I was watching a movie that was meant for the Lifetime channel. Uh, towards the end, the killing started becoming what you would expect from a slasher film. But it was, for me, it was too late. Um... I think part of the reason is they're trying, they were trying to hide whether or not it was a supernatural uh, killer or if it was a, a person. And so you get um, a bunch of sort of back and forth between supernatural stuff happening and possibly a person out there slashing and paling or, or doing whatever. Uh, they save um, the reveal of how each character actually died at the end so they could give you the big, you know, ta-da, you know, this is what happened. And that's what I mean by later they get a little more gory. Um, like when one person in particular dies, they actually show it like the cut and the blood splatters on the screen. And I was like, where'd that come from? <laughs> Y'all have been doing this all that time. Um, so kind of caught me off guard. But um, uh, the acting was decent. Um, there's no bad actors um, in the film. Basically, the cast was okay. Uh, I think that the cast was limited by the direction they were given. Because at the end, we get a lot of reveals about characters that if this is where you were going with this, then we needed a lot more scenes in the beginning of this movie setting up how this movie's going to end and how characters... I'll wait for the deep dive uh, uh, to talk about, talk about that. Um, the film does not really want to uh, commit to any one thing, um, which is something I realized at the end of the movie. Once again, it was trying to give you that um, surprise twist at the end. Um, the good is is this isn't a bad movie. It's me. I'm not mad that I saw it. And um, for a person who wants to see a scary movie but doesn't really want to be like, they don't really want a gory type film. They don't want a lot of blood and guts and different things like that. Like, like um, Slasher. The, 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 the show, other show on show, uh, show time, on Shudder. I'm sorry, Shudder. That I reviewed in the reviews on my channel. Um, that is bloody gory, uh, shocking, um, sort of like Squid Game. Another thing I reviewed. And, yeah, that, that. If you're a horror fan, that gives you what you want in the sense of the kills and the the stress of like what's gonna happen next. Um, so we're gonna wrap this up. Um, basically, if you're a diehard horror fan, you may want to watch something else. But if you have Shutter, then it wouldn't hurt to see it. And if you do, give me your opinion in the comment section. Or if you've already seen it, give me your opinion in the comment section so we can talk about it. Especially that ending. <laughs> um, but uh, once again, um, the movies on Shutter, uh, and they're not paying me. I know I've said Shutter like ten times, but um, I'm looking at my notes. Um, you can rent it on Amazon for four ninety nine, or you can buy it for nine ninety nine. Um, 
And it's, you know, decent for Halloween tweens, you know, it's nothing too serious. So what I'm going to do now is the deep dive. So that means spoilers. I'm going to go through the movie, the scenes. I'm not going to go through every scene because, you know, we'll be, we don't want to be here forever. But I'm going to go through my notes and tell you my impression of things as I was watching the movie. I would just jot down notes about what I was seeing. When things are like a murder mystery, like if you watch my slasher review, I'll take you through my thoughts and who I think the killer is based on being a, a writer that writes murder mysteries and whatnot. Um, and shows, I've done shows uh, that had murder mysteries and things like that. So, <clears throat> we're going to start. At first it seemed as if it was going to be a supernatural movie based on the title and the opening Bloody Murray style um, say my name three times in the mirror and then the ghost was supposed to jump out. Curry uh, exits when it turns out to be just a prank. And when her window is open, a scary face is like peeking through the door. And um, they don't show her getting pushed or nothing. Um, they The girls hear a scream. They come running, look out the window, and she's on the ground with the blood, you know, coming out. Um, I can't even remember if it was moving. That it was just that, you know, she was down there. You can see where her head, back of her hair, had cracked up or whatever. Um, not the back of the head, but the actual blood. Um, because because all the mean girls were together when Carrie died, we're going to be dealing with a short list of suspects. I would have all of, if it was me writing this, I would have had all of the girls go to their rooms, then they come out when they hear the scream, and then you have a much longer list of potential suspects but right then and there, like, you wiped out most of the cast as a, as a potential suspect. Um, new girl Camille arrives, and she's looking for trouble. Instantly getting into a fight with the uh, with the mean girl group. And the fight leads to them all going to detention. And they try to uh, scare Camille with this mask. And then I realize the mask is the same thing that the girl saw before she potentially got pushed out the window or whatever so what i thought was a monster clearly it was someone in a mask no he's not a ghost i remember that helena who tried to warn camille to come with her because the mean girl alice and her crew were bad news she also mentioned that she used to be friends with the girl that died until she became friends with that crew so that pushed Helen, helena up on the top of my list uh, potential suspects because when people do murder mysteries that like once again unusual suspects if you saw my slash review uh you immediately look for the least likely person to do it people that look like they are trying to do it you know that they could potentially be it is usually called a red herring they they're not actually the culprit so this uh so now we know the face we saw was wasn't a ghost the girls have an actual seance trying to contact the dead. And the writing says that she is going to uh, kill them. Not giving her a name, repeating she, which means the killer is in the room, probably Camille or Helena. Maybe even the headmistress at this point because she pops up um, at the end of the seance. And the ghost was basically trying to say, you know, whoever killed her is in that room right there. So now I'm looking at all the girls again. Um, we see that Camille sucks at ballet. And the headmistress says that her transcript says she knew ballet. And then goes to my theory that Camilla, Camille is probably the sister or friend of the first girl that died. And she's trying to figure out what happened to her. And she's trying to track down the killer. And she's posing as someone else to get into the school. We don't want to think about that too much because... It would really fall apart if you really, really thought about it. The second victim, Lenore, is on campus texting and taking selfies when she sees a killer in a photo and does not run. She instead says, there's someone there, which is the typical horror dialogue that these characters get. And when she turns, she gets stabbed. Now, this is really the first clue that is potentially two killers. Because you see one killer by the tree... 
and she turns around and there's another killer there. So this brings the theories of either it's a ghost that can teleport <laughs> or it's two people doing the killings. One distracted her while the other snuck up on her. Um, the third victim uh, was Rosalind. She dies in the shower, off camera, supposedly slipped, guessing, um, pushed off camera, uh, making it look like it was an accident. Uh, suspect, potential suspect Camille finds her after picking up the bloody pin while making a cross symbol that was in the second victim's bed. I am skipping through things. Like I said, we won't be here all day. So, I did think that maybe Camille could either be trying to find, you know, a potential friend or sister's murderer, or she could be the person doing it. But now we see she wasn't in the shower with the girl and the pin gives us more supernatural stuff because the pen got bloody or whatever. And so she went looking and she found the girl. Also, the Dean's son ends up on my radar. Um, he's the only boy on campus. He was looking really guilty um, in that scene. And he's another person that could be a suspect. Uh, Helena shows up at the door and hangs out with Camille. This, is, this leads to what we see at the end eventually. Uh, when Bethany is attacked, my two uh, potential suspects were together, Camille and Helena. So now they're off the list because it ain't them. So that made me think either it's the dean, the dean's son, or um, a ghost or, or something. So um, Alice starts acting suspicious and makes me wonder if she and her son are working together. She seems upset. Uh, when she's found earlier that Camille had his number. Yvonne then does the cliche soap opera thing and wants to be alone. She's the Asian character because like I said there's diversity but ain't a whole lot of people getting lines that are diverse. Um, but Yvonne, you know, she says this is too much for me, I don't know. And does a typical horror movie thing where a person separates themselves from the crowd which you know they're going to be the next victim. And this is the one that got slashed across the throat and really showed us our first real major um, killing. So uh, both Camille and Alice are knocked out by mass people. And then uh, <laughs> the big reveal twist comes of why all this is happening earlier in the story. Um, it was revealed that one of the characters had got a $250,000 scholarship based on her paper. And the girl that died first, it was actually her paper that she had um, basically uh, copied or whatever and said it was hers, plagiarism, said it was hers. And she killed her because... If she heard the story, her um, work, then she would recognize that you know it was really her work, and she deserved that two hundred fifty thousand. So she killed her, and then she said, "Oh well, the friends had to die too because she may have um, let them read it at some point, and if they heard it, they would know it wasn't mine either." So I started killing them too. Oh, and by the way, I'm screwing uh, the dean's son who killed. The person who's supposed to be the ghost. And none of this was really set up. We got a lot of stupid things about, you know, flickering lights or whatever. And we didn't get any real setup of who the real people were that were killing people. Uh, the reason, oh, I had a turn, I had a paper that I copied, um, plagiarized. And so I had to kill everybody so that, you know, that was some stupid. That was so stupid. That was so stupid. Um, I pretty much gave up on the movie at that point. And then at the end, we get a lesbian twist. So turns out Helena and Camille were falling in love, but it had to happen off camera because in the beginning of the movie, she really didn't want nothing to do with Helena. Then they laid in the bed one time when Camille was scared to be in a room by herself because she thought it was haunted. And then at the end, you see 
the that uh, the ghost did help her. She was flickering in some more lights to help her get away, and was able to take out the killer. Um, it was stupid. It was it was really stupid. But at the end, it turns out that um, Camille's a lesbian. Helen's a lesbian. There was some more lesbians uh, in there. The one that was in the shower that died. Um, she was checking out a girl before she went to the shower. Um, so I didn't feel like they really committed to the LGBT, T, LGBTQ theme. Um, they really should have leaned in on these characters with lesbians. If I know it's an all-girls school. I know it happens. But um, stop pussyfooting around and just go ahead and commit to your characters being lesbians and let it play out as that. Versus waiting to the end and going, hey... I bet you didn't know they fell in love. Well, no, we didn't know they fell in love because we didn't see it. Um, and then in the light of day, the bruises and the blood and the scars from that fight looked real fake. The blood was still like, it just didn't move. It was like, it was like they put a streak of gel right here and it stopped. And it just did not look real. So one of the fixes I would have done with that is I would have kept them in the dark. I would have kept the scenes dark and it would have made, it would have hid any imperfections. You could see, uh, I forgot what they call it, but you can see like the patches and things on there. Because I've used them before in my productions that were in there. But I knew how to hide it <laughs> so that it wasn't so obvious that it was just makeup. But anyway, that is the my deep dive into the movie. <sighs> I was so disappointed by um, the execution of who the killers really were. Um, why they were actually doing it. They didn't give any clues to help you out with the murder mystery. They showed you all of the deaths uh, at the end, um, which was a little more graphic. But they should have just been a horror movie because that's what the trailer promised. And let it be that. But anyway, thank you for watching. I'm Clean as Tremaine, and I will see you in the next video, um, which is going to be, let me pull up my, my map, because tomorrow is day three, it'll be October 3rd, and I will be reviewing for you No One Gets Out Alive. It's a Netflix film that's uh, out there now. It's in the top 10, very popular. Perfect time to review this, and I will see you in the next video.